Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Apologize for the lack of videos the last couple days. I was actually traveling and got invited to the Columbus Blue Jackets game as well as the New Jersey Devils game. So I was literally driving from Ohio to New Jersey back to Niagara Falls all in the span of about 48 hours. So wasn't able to really upload as much as I wanted to, obviously, but I had a great time. Got to hang out with Nasher and Reek. Really fun opportunity for me. But let's get into some of the stuff that we had over the last couple days. I mean, A, there is a ton of X Factor updates that we'll get into, but we've also got a leaked master set coming that EA kind of made an oopsie on, and we're going to go over that because it has huge X Factor implications. All right, let's get into all of the new content. All right, first things first, let's talk about this leak. So at 5 p.m. today, when the new Hut Rush season rolled over, they accidentally had this text up when you went to the draft version of Hut Rush. It said, draft the 16-bit 92 overall Jack Eichel in this 3v3 Rush season. They then quickly took that down, and obviously uh, that was an accident for this upcoming week when the new master set obviously so you know obviously this is gonna have big implications on the x factor it becomes one of the best especially given his size we're gonna go over what the card looks like but if you have his x factor already wait or you can invest in it now i mean upgrade it now because we know that a huge upgrade is coming or if you're looking you know throughout the marketplace and you might and you find him cheap a lot of people saw this so you're probably not gonna be able to find one for very cheap but anything around 200 is probably worth it once you see what his upgrades are. So I wanted to get, make sure that you guys all knew that. Um, obviously, they didn't mean for this to happen, but, you know, it's not really fair that some people get to make a ton of coins off of it. Rather, make sure that all my audience gets to see it as well. So the reason why I'm so excited for that master item, obviously, is that, well, first of all, Jack Eichel's 6'2", and he's already got 91 speed with Fly the Zone. So obviously, already a good card, and no matter what, he's going to go up at least one, probably two speed, because he's going to get four new tiers. Obviously, that's going to come with a price, but honestly, it looks to be almost cheaper than what the uh, what the Master Sets cost already. So if you already have his Untradeable, and you've kind of maybe not thought about it, or you have a, like a God Squad team... I would, you know, he's going to get an insane upgrade no matter what. His shooting is going to be in the mid 90s. He's already six foot two. That really can't change. And he might have 95 speed. That is just simply an insane combination. And he could play center as well. So if you haven't uh, uh, invested in him just yet, that's fine. Be on the lookout in the marketplace. If someone isn't paying attention, they don't know. I'd grab him for anything around 200, 250 would be the max. But uh, yeah, he is going to be absolutely nuts come Friday. Now, while I was gone, I did release a Market Monday that I had to record on Saturday, but I let you guys all know, Mark Stridley was going to get a new upgrade to his X-Factor, and my goodness, he looks great. Obviously, he's got Fly the Zone, uh, so he has got 91 speed now, 6 foot 3, just a great combination of size, speed, and shot, and his price obviously did shoot up as well. I mean, he was going for 50,000 coins when I recorded that video and you more than doubled it. So I hope someone in my community was able to snipe some and make some coins on it. But yeah, you made it like a bandit here. And whenever there's a huge upgrade, guys, just be on the lookout. You know that you're going to see a big jump in their X Factor price. Now we'll go over the content for today. We have the 89 Crosby. Obviously, that doesn't impact Crosby's X Factor just yet. He is going to need about three more. Well, three more to see a tier upgrade on his X Factor. Which could take him some time. Even though it is Sidney Crosby, I would expect that's probably not until January. So his X Factor isn't really going to change. The one thing I will say is that when a card gets an X Factor, they do drop in price a little bit because it's going to be a long time before they see the tier upgrade. So as we wait and get into December a little bit more, unless he gets a master item, but he won't because he already had the Rivals one. Be on the lookout for Crosby's X Factor card because it is very good. And then once he catches up, like with Team of the Week and Prime Times, he should get rolling quite quickly there. The other big one that we need to mention is that Braden Point got a charity card. That's right. Braden Point goes up to an 88, and Ryan O'Reilly gets one as well. My man Tucker Tynan from the Ice Dogs, one of the best goaltenders in the OHL. The Ice Dogs are absolute crap this year, and uh, he's now a Sue Graham, which is super sad. I loved watching Tucker Tine and play, so he got one. Nathan Gosher, I want to say his name is, and Brant Clark also got a Superstar Origins card, so we'll take a look at some of these as well, and obviously the X-Factor implications. So Ryan O'Reilly now up to an 87. Even with his sp skating synergies, you know, distributor, he gets up to 86. There's just so many better options. Like, I'd much rather have Sean Couturier or Anze Kopitar you know, even even with his tier nine upgrade, the cost is kind of a lot for what he brings to the table. So even if you had him untradeable, I'm not big on investing or or putting in the coins for this. I just think that there is a lot better options on at center. Even his body checking isn't all that high, 
But just my own opinion on him, I think that Kachuria and Kopitar are much better options for center there. And then obviously a lot of others as well, but those are the two that are closest. I want to give an update here is Chris Letang got up to an 85 as well. He's got fly the zone. Now he's got 90 speed, 88 acceleration, and an okay shot, nothing crazy. This is honestly an interesting one because 90 speed at only 85 overall means that his next upgrades, and again, at some point... These guys will just get charity cards, it looks like. He's very cheap. Like, these upgrades, he's not hitting the high-end upgrades, and he's already got 90 speed. So, uh, just be on the lookout for the him. I think that he could be pretty cheap. I saw someone buy up all the Latangs and trying to sell them for 80k a piece. Doesn't look like anyone's biting on that, but there isn't a lot of amazing right-handed defensemen. The one thing, he doesn't have great, you know, size and body checking, but the speed is great, and again, there just isn't a lot. If you can see him going for like 55,000 coins, it's not a bad investment just because you'll get a decent card, and at some point, like, he's going to be one of the faster ones, so just be on the lookout for Chris Letang. Gensel also got 188 speed with Distributor. He's got Protector, Light the Lamp as well. It's still not really all that good. Like, even with his upgrade to 90 speed, 87 acceleration, and high 80 shooting, he's going to cost already 40,000 coins. Latang is already one back and has 90 speed. That's what I was referring to. So he's going to cost another 40,000 to get up to 90. Not bad, but he doesn't have exceptional size. His body checking is only 82. There's just a lot of other cards that you should probably spend your money on. And you can see what the zone and superstar abilities are. He has one of the worst that are coming. If you go and look at the offline rosters, you can actually see what these guys are going to unlock eventually. And Jay Gensel has just some of the worst ones, if I remember correctly. Now let's talk about Braden Point. Now, obviously, I had mentioned that he is going to get an upgrade at some point. I didn't think it happened that fast, but it does look like almost all of the X-Factors that hadn't gotten upgrades in a while did get one recently. So... 89 speed, no speed synergy is just awfully tough for someone who's only 5'10 with 80 body checking. Like, that's like Brad Marchand level. You're just not going to be able to use him effectively that you would a bunch of other cards. Obviously, if you're a Brayden Point fan, go for it. And you probably can sell him for more than what you paid for at the bare minimum a couple days ago. But it's just not all that exciting. 89 speed with no speed synergy at 5'10 and 80 body checking is just... One of the worst meta winger cards that you can you can get, essentially. Also want to talk quickly about the 90 overall Steven Stamkos. Uh, no skating synergies, but 92 speed, 93 acceleration, and mid 90 shooting. This is basically like what Jack Eichel's card is going to be, just slightly less. So maybe if you can't afford Jack Eichel, Steven Stamkos might be going for a little bit cheaper. But like I said, that Jack Eichel card is going to be absolutely nuts. And... You know, I would probably just wait to invest in him if I had to choose between the two. I would wait for that Jack Eichel. Thought we'd just take a quick look at these actual prime times, not just the X factors. It's tough here because unless these cards fall down to what the base floor is for 89 overalls, it's tough because Crosby at face value, 5'11", under 90 skating, under 90 shooting. I mentioned this a number of times. He just does everything well, but nothing amazing. Um, he has been much better in 22. I don't know if it's the meta, the play style, what it is, but... He has been pretty good. It all depends on what you're going to pay for him, and it's tough because prime times, yeah, there's just not a lot up because not a ton of people are ripping packs, so it's probably going to be overpriced, but, you know, just be on the lookout for him if you're looking for a centerman, if you don't want to invest in his X-Factor or there's really no way for you to. Brock Besser also, <laughs> Brick Bowser also got one in 86 with Booming Shot, Spark, and Applesauce. If you can get Spark on him, he's got 90 acceleration. Might be a decent pickup because he's got 90 shooting. We'll see if there's any of him up in the auction house right now. There's two. 40K, that's not awful. I'd probably wait. These probably won't sell. You might be able to grab them for, well, the current bid right now at 30K. At 30K, I would definitely grab this card, especially if you're free to play. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the new content. Back, uh, back home, regular rotation of videos. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.